Hi and welcome to our final session of John's Gospel and of Roots. And uh, we came to the end of uh, John chapter 20 last week, which seems to be the end of the book. Now, I don't know if you remember a TV series that was on a little while ago um, in the 1980s and 90s. And it starred a guy called Peter Falk and it was called Columbo. And uh, he was uh, an American detective. He was well known for his uh, kind of tan trench coat, uh, mucky trench coat and smoking a cigar. And uh, he would nearly in every episode, he would be speaking to the antagonist, the, usually the, the villain of the piece. And he'd be explaining and asking lots of questions and lots of questions. And then he'll say, thank you very much. And then he'll start to leave. And just as he's starting to leave, what became a bit of a trademark for him is that he would turn around as if absent-mindedly and he'd say, oh, and one more thing. And that one more thing was usually the sucker punch, was the thing that he really wanted to ask all along. Well, that's not exactly what's happening here, but it's not too far off it. Uh, this feels like John's, oh, and one more thing. It's an added bit to the gospel and has been given uh, the title chapter 21. For some reason, uh, it's been added to what was essentially a complete book. The story kind of had ended. John had finished it off and saying, these are written down so that uh, you may believe in Jesus. And then this next bit is, is added. Afterwards, Jesus appeared again. So what are the reasons why? Well, uh, one is probably because it had to deal with with John. Now, what we believe and what we think is pretty well proven is that this book was written by John the Apostle in his um, kind of latter years, probably in Ephesus. And uh, he's got a, a group of disciples around him. We know that of uh, through church history, some of the names of those disciples, including a guy called Polycarp. But John was was there. Uh, and he was dictating this down and the book had finished and you can imagine maybe it had been sent out already. But there was one more thing that needed to be cleared up. Why John was still alive? Because probably all the other disciples had died a martyr's death, particularly Peter, the leader of the church at that time. And so why was John still alive? And so that's addressed at the end of this chapter when Peter asks, what about him? And John says, or Jesus says, What's it to you? That's that's my business. What if he does stay alive? And that's kind of a hint that John actually died a, a natural death of old age. But that's the one reason. But the big chunk of this chapter is about Simon Peter. It rounds off his story, his journey up to this point. And we know what he's been up to, what he's done. He's always putting his foot in it. And Ultimately, he's let Jesus down, even though he professed that he would be with him all the way through. But even more so, we have Jesus. And this chapter shows Jesus putting into action what he has achieved throughout the rest of this book, throughout the rest of his life, and particularly through the cross and the resurrection. What we see is an example, a brilliant example of Jesus's forgiveness and restoration achieved through the cross and it's shown to one of his closest disciples who let him down at the last minute. So as we have a look at this chapter, as we read through it, let's see and and embrace what happens and, and how it can apply to us as we look at what Jesus does here. 